my name is Mrs. Cruz and I'm here to teach you about the area of composite figures today. First of all, we need to define a composite figure. What is a composite figure? Okay, it is a figure made up of two or more geometric figures. And I have two examples here at the bottom. I've got a square and a triangle added together here and I've got two rectangles here. These are considered composite to figures. To find the area of a composite figure, you're going to need several formulas. So you're going to take what you know about area of different figures, and you're going to use those formulas to find the area of a composite figure. Go ahead and pause the video, take a minute to write these formulas down. Okay, so let's tackle this figure first. I see two shapes in this composite figure. My first shape being a triangle, my second shape being a square. So knowing my formulas, I'm going to tackle each shape individually. My first shape being a triangle, I know my formula for a triangle, for the area of a triangle, is base times the height divided by 2, or base times the height times 1 half. We know that that means the same thing as dividing by 2. Okay, so my base in my triangle we see is 6 feet, and my height is 9 feet. Okay, divide by 2, I get 54. Divide that by 2, and I get 27 feet for my triangle. Okay, that's step 1. Step two, I need to find the area of my square. To find the area of a square, my formula is S squared. So my first side here is 9 squared, because both sides are the same in a square. 9 times 9, we get 81 feet for the square. My very last step, step three, is I'm going to add 27 and 81 feet. and I get 108 feet. So the area of this composite figure is 108 feet. All right, let's now tackle example number two. Here is another composite figure, and my two shapes in this figure are a square, and I have a half circle here. So let's start with the half circle. We know for a full circle that our formula for area is pi r squared. First, we need to remember that pi here is going to equal 3.14. So we'll plug that in whenever it comes time. Our radius is half of our diameter. And our diameter here is 12. Because if I look down here, it's the, exact si it's the opposite side of that square. So half of 12 is 6. So I now have 3.14 times... 6 squared, okay? 6 squared is 36 times 3.14. Now I just do my basic multiplication with decimals, okay? 4 times 6 is 24, 6, 8, 18, and then I have to move my decimal back two places and I get 113.04. Okay, now I'm not done. I notice here that I don't have a full circle. So I'm going to take this number and I'm going to divide it by two. Okay, two goes into 11. Bring up my decimal. And I get 56.52 for my area of the circle. So for circle, I'm going to write 56.52 yards squared. Okay? Now I'm going to look for the area of my square. 
And I know the formula for that is S squared. So I see here that I have 12 as my side. And 12 squared we know is 144. So I'm going to have 144 yards squared for that area. My last and final step is that I need to add the two areas together. So I'm going to have 144, I'll do it down here so you can see it, plus 56.52. And my final answer is 252 yards squared. All right, now that we've gotten through two together, let's try the third example on your own. So go ahead and pause the video and try example number three on your own. Okay, so for example three, we notice we have two figures, a square and a trapezoid. For my square, I knew it was just 7 squared, pretty simple. For my trapezoid, I had to know that my base 1 was 5, and that my base 2 down here was actually 7. So I added those two in parentheses, and my solution was 30 miles squared. Um, then I needed to add my two figure areas together, and I got 79 miles squared. Go ahead and take a minute now to do your summary for how do you find the area of a composite figure. And go back, if you have any questions, feel free to review the video and pause in places that you need to pause. And thank you for your time.